I look Asian as hell. Why my eyes? Let me screenshot that hole. There you go. Damn, my eyes are small. <laughs> oh, his hairstyle is unflattering. Very unflattering. Okay, that's okay. My hair's pretty much dry, dry, dry. I want to cut my hair soon. Buzz. I look ugly with a big forehead. I look ugly because I have a big forehead. Look at this. <laughs> I look better with hair, obviously. But some guys look really good bald. I don't know, like Jason Statham looks really good bald. But um, once again, it's just fucking annoying. It's really long and annoying. Hard to upkeep. There's only a few styles I can do. It's annoying. I like I I when I'm in public, I'm like, do I do I look good? Phone. Uh, uh, uh. It's annoying. At some point, there's a benefit cost benefit better risk ratio. I always talk about this. But yeah, today on in this video, I want to talk about the the way you actually remain productive, and that's through eliminating the majority of social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Eliminate them. I put timers on my, I can put screenshots here, bing, 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 oh, bing, 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 bing. So I put timers on my apps, and when the timer expires, I follow the timer. It's that simple, and I cut my YouTube usage by hours, hundreds of hours a month, you know. And it's, it's been surreal, it's been very, very surreal, it's very, very different, it's very... Liberating, it's very liberating, and not having YouTube, scrolling through YouTube all day, looking at other people that have lives better than myself, but, and having the opportunity to just grind and just work on myself continuously, it's very, very, very liberating. Okay guys, so what I want to talk about you today is the secret, the secret of being, of cutting out social media, being productive, being the person you want to be, here's the secret. Eliminate distractions, eliminate anything that's bad for you and focus purely on the positive, focus purely on the grind. If you have a YouTube channel and you want to build a community and then what you think you think is, oh yeah, I'm going to reply to every single YouTube comment and then it's going to be a thing, a great community. No, 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 you don't reply to every single YouTube comment, you reply to the top 10 and then you build a community that way. You build a, you reply to the top 50, you build a community that way. You make a Discord, you build a community that way. You offer value. Within a product or a service or within information, you don't, how do I say this? You don't, <laughs> you don't reply to every YouTube comment and then see that one comment that tells you to fucking off yourself and other comment that tells you that your content sucks because that will affect you mentally. You don't look at the negative shit. You focus purely on the positive. You don't surround yourself with negative. That's the secret to success. If, I remember I was in Vietnam one time and I was with my grandparents and my grandparents, oops, what the hell? Why don't I do that? My grandparents, they're wealthy people. Wealthy, I mean, they have their life, like, they got money, like, they're not, they're not rich, rich, upper middle class at best. But they have a community around them with people, friends and family, that is just beautiful. And then every single morning at 5 a.m. in the morning, they wake up and they go exercise. They leave badminton in a park. And it's the most fun shit I've ever had in my entire life. It's such a liberating experience, you know? This is what I want to highlight. I'm constantly around people that exercise, which is also one of my passions and my hobbies. Not my hobbies. It's my life. It's my life, dude. <laughs> it's not a hobby. It's more like a... Because if you treat something like a hobby, you're going to get hobby-like results, right? But it's not my hobby because I, I genuinely want to be successful in this. It's like one of my passions, my dedications. And to be around people that, that have similar mindset to me, it's like it's such a liberating thing. Like you're around people, it's not like some yes men type shit, it's like we all exercise, we all push each other, we all have fun, we reward people that do well, we reward people that 
are exceptional. It's just, it's just amazing. It's an amazing experience. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really like it. So, sorry to with some people. Peace.